Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. <clears throat> I hope, cheers. I hope you're having a really good time out there. I'm glad that you are able to join me for a poetry reading. I hope that you will enjoy it. The first poem I will read for you tonight is called Coming Home. Coming Home. My lines used to be long before I met you. I was hunting for you in the infinite wind. I was feeling for you without knowing your scent. I was wandering the endless shore of innocence. I was born from a longing. I grew up in a hurting. My life was a life of searching. I always belong to you. Even in my thoughts, even in the seeds of my thoughts, once I was a poem, people held me on their lips. My words were like stars guiding ships toward the horizon. My vowels kept flames long into the night. When I was alone, I dreamt in red. I saw you rising from the river. Your sight drew me into the compass of your wind, and for the first time I realized that home is the place of your heart. This next poem is called On You. Everything depends on you, my heart beating, tears falling, lips curling, Skin stretching, toes scratching, fingers stroking, breast heaving, chest fevering, tongue tasting, spines arching, ears hearing, echoes, vibration, flashes, triggers, addiction, sicknesses, shiverings, even stars shifting, oceans orbiting, seas, flows, ebbs, comes, goes, rising, sweating, low, low winds. Everything depends on you, including the way I breathe. This next poem is called You in a Complete Thought or As in a Complete Feeling. The familiarity with which you lean in and break into my sentences and complete my thoughts is proof enough of how much I adore you, I desire you. Yet you urge me to name it, to call it an Eden, make it permanent, stable, solid. And there's the stone that chokes my throat every time because this wave between you and I, this rocking shade, is as fluid as a rushing river or the flow of winds from the tropics of Capricorn and Cancer. Fluid like rain, summer or winter, and the hand stroking mine after a bypass care. Fluid as the first time we kiss and the lingering scent of that kiss of you blazing an awkward scar, an awakening. Fluid like your eyes, your lips, your flesh in my arms, biting into the taste of water, kissing your tongue, your toes. Fluid in the hope springing eternal, in the voice of the sky, songs from the seas, and your heart beating against my palm, a meditation. It flows day in, day out, morning through night, moonlight, eyes bright light, overwhelming our hearts. I want to mean to you more than mere words, a taste you keep on acquiring, a getting used to, and a language we keep on constructing spines shivering and the light and the wind and the water binding us keep us close so tight 
that even when we drip away from our own bones, we will remain as liquid evaporating in the familiarity with which you lean in and break into my sentences and complete my thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. This poem is called, I Live For You. I live for you, for the golden fabric of your memory, for your scent-stained melody. I live for the moment you overpower my dreams, for touching the spirit of my lips, for wetting my parched throat with your anticipation. I live for the reaping of your harvest, for the face of your summer, for the eyes of your spring, even under your winter's melting. I live for the way you break light into purple particles, for the getting ready moments, for the shivering of our bones. This next poem is called My Tension. My Tension. It means nothing, nothing except for the finest, slightest rip of tension, the hairline fracture in a regular hello, or a shift in the earth's darkest flesh triggers the submersion to shudders. Any attempt to recreate memory is always skewed somehow lacking. But I don't give an impressive damn. I'll ride the tedious waves as long as I'm washing towards you. Your orbit, where grains of sand purify my bones in that slightest tension. I become like a wafing leaf or a homeless lamb. And it's only you, your arms, your hips, your lips. You, who can take me home, set the soul to fire. You are the first cause to my tensions, the spark to my flame, the reason to my hope, the purpose to my be. You are the bit of raw air I am seeking out, curling tender towards, desiring again and again, for you are the tension that does break me eternal each time. Oh, grinding to finest reverence in your soft eyes, my heart. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. This next poem is called, Let's Make Love. Let's make love in spite of the gravity of the situation. Let's do it in silence without words, the way we know how to push through, how to touch, how to feel the beating in our blood without knowing which heart is fluttering harder, without caring about the heat or sweat. Let's make love like bits of breezes coming together, coming to blossom in spirit. Beyond the silk of grass, I see a new beginning, something special in the way your ties hold me, something soft and firm and quick all at once. It's the climax of shivers I long for, cling to the way your heart beats on my teeth and tongue, digging into my flesh, drawing blood. This next poem is called, If I Could Rise. If I could rise like a melody, rise from nothing but an air caught in your throat, rise to spread a soulful blanket of stars, Rise to soar, to stew into something nearer to your heart, to come to rest, to stay, to start to be, to form a substance stronger than any stone, the thing you can fling to, 
cling to in order to steady your soul. Yet I am as soft as the pillow, caressing your dreams, massaging your sleep, and cracking into the opening a rip and ease, squeezing into seamless slip, as seamless as the breath we are, quiet yet so necessary to love. This next poem is called, I am working on parts of me. You know, love takes many different sorts of manifestation and goes through many phases in a relationship. And so it's a, always a work in progress. <clears throat> I am working on parts of me. Those parts you said would never heal, broken, spiteful, I am smoothing out their edges, bringing them to light with balm. I am working on parts of me, those parts you said would never heal. I am putting them out to sun, accepting imperfections, bitterness, selfishness. I am naming those parts of me, parts you said would never heal. Love is more than a body more than time, more than space. Love is more than feelings, more than desiring, more than dreams. Love dwells, expands, and compasses. Love is determined to accept change, to encourage, to enrapture. Love fuses the sexual and the sacred, the wild and the tame, the giver and the receiver. Love blurs the edge, cleanses the sin, confirms the hope, I wish I could tell you the things my heart feels. I want to find the words to say, I need you. I need you more than I've ever needed anyone. I need your air to breathe you. I need to feel beyond your flesh, to know in my deepest self that you are here, not merely waiting, adoring, declaring. I need to feel you coming. I want to be your reason. I want to be filled of your joy, to be beside you, to steady your weight. I want to belong to your understanding. You are my dream, the dream of my dreams, the fate of my prayers. You are the need I need, the want I want, the morning I wait till, the reflection I embrace. You are the heat of my day, the movement of my anthem into song, my belief, but I cannot give my soul to you. I cannot follow blindly where you lead. I cannot simply accept your thoughts, for happiness lies in the meeting of our shadows, in the debate of our dreams, in the sweat of our becoming. I can accept only those parts of you you are willing to offer. I can solve your scars, not cure them. I can carry your years, not erase them. This is the crooks of your arms on my hips, the flesh of my thoughts, dreams crystallizing my eternity. Love is a process of soul making, making my soul worthy, your soul worthy, of something much deeper than our flesh, our bones, our blood. Love is a duty to care, to be kind, to expose the deepest expression the heart can conjure in a way that shifts the axis of your planet towards the path of the sun, aligns your melody with the magic of the moonlight. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> this next poem is called Soul Making. Remember when you'd ring me up to say nothing at all? How you stroked the sky under my skin? Then you took me down to the river's edge to touch the soft roots of the earth? Remember when we laughed at falling stars? How you gathered my bones into your mouth until I begged? I saw you held red once in your eyes. It made me want to pray. 
Remember the beach on which you told me your thoughts? How I took all night to gather the stories from your skin? The exes you whispered into my tears? Remember when you'd hold me after dark? How I showed you my deepest scars after you had kissed my after you had kissed your secrets into my pulse? Remember when we pulled the moon into our bed, the night we placed in each other's dreams, how we made love in the scent of our souls? <clears throat> this next poem is called My Words for You. I have tried to set my words to notes a melody that may stir you in a song, a song that burns, burns a humming, a song that consumes you, consumes you with a fire so fierce, so fierce it frames the journey of your soul, your soul with pure delight. I have laid my words out that they may comfort you, comfort you when the wind is too harsh, or the shivering inside seems in uncontrollable. My words will guard you and calm you. They will guide you, gently nudging you, you to return to the light, the light that is burning in your soul. I know my words are crazy. Sometimes they get lost in the pattern of your heart. Some are too excited. Some are too needy. But that's what you do to me. You make me make words, words to love you desperately, like one loves the sea, uninhibited, naked, and free. I know no other way to love you, but with words, words do more, much more than say, I love you. I have tried to set my notes to words. This next poem is called Desire. Happy Valentine's Day, one and all. Desire. I never wanted our love to be perfect or to hold you down from soaring or to keep you back from going or to stop you from becoming or to stunt your reach letting or color your mind weeping I never wanted our love to be grand or to scare your past into ashes or to damn your present with dashes or to tangle your future with backlashes. I prayed, pleaded, begged for our love to be as mysterious as kindness, as adventurous as holding hands, filled with silent words, speaking eyes, like my heart beating in your pulse, like your pulse beating in my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <clears throat> this next poem, Billing on Desire, is called I Desire You. I desire you, desire to breathe with you, to walk with you through storms, to stand by you in calm. I desire you. I want you to know for certain. I desire you like a poem. To be devoured. To sink into satisfaction. To saturate. I desire you. Your saturation. To be caught among your verses. To nestle in the fragrance of your vowels. To store my soul deep in your lines. I desire you in each season of despair under every hurting star, tender tears. I desire you to the right, to the left, north, south, east, west, however the dust stirs, carrying the weight of bones, sacrifice of thorns, even, even, even in the salvation of our souls. I desire you. Desire you enough to return to you the way one returns to the woods, to the blue-green sea, 
even to the breeze dancing on the shore of the sea, like homecoming, I desire you, desire you beyond the boundaries, through the nakedness of life, through the yellow dews of eternity. I desire you, desire to whisper in your heart, to stroke deeper than your skin, in solemn prayer every dream. I desire you, desire to tell you in years, in seasons of joys, in moments of memories, I desire you. <clears throat> this next poem is called, I am contained. <clears throat> I am contained in the fire of your eyes, jump starting my heart, burning up hues like at home, in the mystery of your aura, vibration shredding a soul, treaties of kindness, grateful as in praise songs. I am contained in multitudes, face of many faceless faces, withers melodies, caressing, songs of red breasts, enticing a brook, waterfalls, silencing the outlines, traces of drafts, dust particles containing me. Time in her fantastical woes contains me with grave lines in hours, trembling seconds, years of tenderness drained from your lips. Hope, faith, practicing charity contains me. I am contained in the hot soil of my birth, in memory's flesh, her rivers, the ancient river of my birth. I am salt adrifting on a sea, in the breath of branches, in a breeze, on the waves. Many waves contain me. I flow over mountains and hills and wild valleys. I flow green. I am contained in a soul, in its seed, its weight and agony and journey and redemption, salvation. I am as always as near to you as air in a sequence of thoughts. I am contained by you, by the multitudes of you. I am contained. This next poem is called Dear Love and it is like a love letter. <clears throat> Dear love, something permanent is coming over me. I crave water along with all presence. I am wondering how to let go of my longing, your brown eyes containing my beginning, like playing with the magic falling in the rain or clinging to the tenderness of your name. See, I never really belong to eternity. You brought me here so gently. Now when I'm with you, I can weep as I watch you patiently gathering the freedom sprouting from my tears. My strange method to coating stars. I wish you would color me a map, leading me to the essence of your bones. I could spend forever painting your portrait my words dripping in the blood of my pulse, kissing the bluest veins of your reflection. I want to adore you. I want to adore all the breathing parts of you. I want to slide into sleep with your scent, the velvet of your scent invading my dreams. I want to wake with the dew drizzling your breasts, capturing the cornfield fragrance of your hair the milk honey from the garden of your lips, the splendor surrounding your soul. If I could carry the generosity of your gentleness, share, share softly the shadows of your glow. Let the world know something is coming, something is coming over me, something rooting from the depths of your ribs, something staining skies, enveloping scars, something forging tight, the force of forgiveness. 
Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you for watching. I enjoy your company very much. Thank you. This next poem is called A Contemplation on Love. <clears throat> A Contemplation on Love. It's like this feeling or rush of feelings, like this color or scent of colors. It's like I can't get enough of you, of finding pieces of you, of filling my words with you. It's like you keep washing over me, keep on keeping on lifting me to new heights. It's like your eyes show me, stroke me, settle me. It's like your fingers find me, tender my words, the verses of my words. It's like you turn me into something soft, something solid at the same time it's like you bring me to discover my pulse in the moments before dawn like you sway me towards the sun mellow my moon you urge me to fly to rise to race like the dream you dream inside my arms the nerves you unnerve from my soul the light you light in the curve of my chest it's like salvation or the hint of salvation you make me fall for just because it's like love or the rapture of love bursting forth from you in me you inside of me this next poem is called a meditation on love It's you, the taste of you, driving me, driving me wild as a river, a river racing to the sea and its horizon. I want to set in me, within me, like a sun sinking. When the colors flare up, I want you to flare up. Flare me up so I can continue to flow, to flow forever flooding forever with drops of your light sparks you pull from me from between my bones and soul i am burning for you for the desire of you for yourself folded into myself rumple chaotic imperfect flesh fusing us into something stern yet tender at the core at the core of you is a song a sweet, simple song you ease into my ear, whispering rustic words, words that gather into dew, sparkling new, as if for the first time my song sings to the flame falling from your tongue, your touch, your thought bringing me to the altar of I love you, I love you, bringing me to repeat the mantra, the mantra of my own soul, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you very much, thank you for sharing the time with me for enjoying the poems <clears throat> this next one is called i carry your eyes my love i carry your eyes my love i carry your eyes in the branches of my thoughts they seep along my spine waves of a sea rippling towards exotic shores they drip all day long into the sinews of my stomach, they flower like the scent of a rose, haunting long after words. I carry your eyes, my love. I carry your eyes as sparks of hope. I carry your eyes in flesh of my memory. I carry them in the memory of my dreams, deep within the dream of my dreams. I carry your eyes, my love. I carry them always in my heart. This next poem is called Accept Love. Sometimes your French songs as if words overrun with longing. I want to break the silence you open always with a verse that flowers. 
flowers beneath the warming trellis of your fleeting thoughts. I wish to always be coming towards you, towards the light that envelopes you, gather the grasses around your ankles, your slender ankles pressing my lips with consciousness, which lingers in your flesh like the taste of an after perfume like something of the tiniest keepsake from the beach, from the summer that changed our lives just because you had breasts. I had only the taste of water and the talent of how to pick apart a memory. I wrote of that summer already when I came to say goodbye, to say goodbye to the lingering spaces you left behind, spaces in my closet under the sink, on the dresses, on the rivers, in my heart, spaces in my pulse. This is how you love forever, moment by moment. Language of silence, language of touch, language vibrating, sensations. No one can take away the fact that you are a gift. Even when they don't see it, I feel your light, your shadows. All my life I have been forging towards your delicate light like a reward for breathing, for being, for the glory of not understanding the, pur the purpose of the journey except love. This next poem is called A Love Poem. A Love Poem. This is not that poem, tree swinging, light mist, a bird song, Touch of mist, dew on petals, a flow of grass, bubbling brook, snow shadows, spring, hope, or tears, sorrows, silent hurts, worries, hunger, anger, loneliness, requiems, or melodies, fire, flesh, blood, water, wind, air, or reds, yellows, greens, golds, black, purples, or feelings, fibers, songs, words. This poem, this poem is love. Pure love. I'd be your poem. I'd be your poem. Being too close to you is not enough. I'd rearrange the sky to your quench. Pull back rain clouds from your dark. Few stars together to sing your song. I'd be your poem. Carry your vowels stopped in my heart. Believe in the redemption of your pain. Search for my reflection in your lonely. Bend so tenderly toward your eternity. I'd be your poem. Follow your footsteps leading the river. Caress the sorrowing from your eyes. Measure our distances by our longing. Return to dreams pressing on your lips. I'd be your poem. Pulse of adornment to your nakedness. I surrender to the salt of your nuances. You are the salvation to my brokenness. Bringing my soul right to righteousness. This next poem is called, A Poem is Deep. A poem is deep. A poem is deep when I carve it for you from a nectar of feelings for you, clouding my verses, lines cascading in abstract places, colors seeping about my rhymes, tears gathering like rains wetting your sun-kissed face and the starry skies. The first time I saw your smile is a poem I will never forget. In fact, I've memorized my lines from that day as shrewd. For whenever I drift outside your shadow, I find these vowels to anchor my bones in the memory of how your eyes drew me into the first stage of your mystery, where my heart skipped a beat initially at the song of your name coming closer to the space between my spirit and flesh, stitching my words into inking why a poem is deep. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. We are down to the last two poems. So I hope you had a happy Valentine's Day. <clears throat> I hope you had a wonderful time enjoying the poetry from the comments. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. This poem is called, I Hold On To My Words. I hold on to my words that I may shape them to verse, color them to rhyme, dress them up to turn into something more than memory or the shade of the moon when it is broken or the hush of the river when it is lonely. I hold on to words. I harvest them for you, save them for your eyes, Press them into your pulse, stitch them into your ribs, that you may always be able to touch, to stroke, to trace the hemispheres and the echoes of my love. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. <clears throat> the last poem I'm going to leave you with tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll be back soon that we'll do it again. This poem is called The Word. The Word. The Word can be a sky surrendering all eternities. Or, like in a dream, stitching all possibilities. The Word can be a fire burning in the belly. Or a solitary tear, wet with waning the word can be you or the silence of your bones or in my quiet eyes your reflection the word can rise or fall or sway along a blade of grass as dew the word can scream or settle or flow or whisper a wave washing through your soul. The word can weigh or lift or broken or fly. The word can say or scar or tongue, vowels steamed in your breath. The word, the word is love whenever, however it touches the tender of your heart. The word is love. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that we will be together soon. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. May your year be filled with love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful evening.